Filipino seafarers who went missing after the explosion in Beirut are now safe and accounted for. However, the number of injured Filipinos has tripled since yesterday. News 5's Marianne Enriquez joins us live from uh, joins us live right now for more updates. Marianne, what is the latest count? Give, can you give us the statistics on Filipinos in Beirut? Yes, Sean, a death toll in the Beirut last is now at 135, while the number of injured has climbed to over 5,000. Some of the wounded are OFWs who have expressed to be repatriated as soon as possible. OFW Ursula Gira sustained wounds on her face and arm from the massive explosion in the port of Beirut, just five minutes away from her employer's home. Dripping with blood, she tried to walk to a nearby hospital, but because it was full, she had no choice but to head back home and remove the shards of glass by herself using a first aid kit. Her daughter, who is a nurse, assisted her via Facebook. It was only the following day when she was finally attended by a medical professional. In her nine years as a household service worker in Beirut, Ursula said this was her first time to experience such a terrible explosion. Hindi pa naman sigura ako do ko saan ang galing yung pagsabog na yun, which is may balibaligitan na una pa lang yun, may susunod pa. She is not alone. 29-year-old seafarer Nestor Enrera, one of the crew members of MV Orient Queen, wants to be repatriated. Pag talikod ko po, yun na po, sumabog na po yung, yung pinakamalakas na sabog po at tumalsik po kami doon sa pinagkakatayuan namin hanggang doon sa sa dulo nung ano dina uh, nung pagtagising ko po eh medyo nawalan po ako ng malay sa basura na po ako ano na gising he said they were trapped sa and needed to jump from the ship's deck to the port's platform fortunately a fisherman brought them to a hospital nestor suffered minor injuries they were picked up by their employer and housed them in a hotel the Philippine Embassy in Lebanon gave them food and clothes. All the 13 Filipino seafarers from the ship were accounted for. Five of them are still in the hospital. The cruise ship has now partially sunk next to the pier. They also asked the embassy to help them with their delayed salaries since February. Beirut. Nagkaroon sila ng crisis dito, so hindi sila makapagpadala ng pera sa, sa amin. The Philippine Embassy in Beirut says the number of injured Filipinos has climbed to 24, while an OFW is still missing. Sean, the Philippine Embassy in Beirut assures the public that they are assisting the affected OFWs. Meanwhile, those OFWs who are still in need of assistance are encouraged to call the embassy's hotline. Sean. Thank you for that, Ma'an. That was Marian Enriquez joining us live from Manila.